Hey guys, it's Enigma again, this time with a video on hero rolls. So in part 2 of my tutorial, I went over them briefly, but I thought it would be fun to make a video about just hero rolls. So I thought about it, and I came to the conclusion, what better way to do it than TF2 style? Let me first start off though by saying that while all heroes have a role, they usually have more than one. Only a few heroes in Han are hardcore enough to claim the title of having only one role. So for the sake of simplification, for this video I'm going to use heroes that have very straightforward roles. Ah yes, the infamous carry hero. So what exactly is a carry hero? Well, generally speaking, a carry hero is a hero that doesn't do much early game, but really pays off in the end. It's called a carry hero because at the beginning of the game, your team is carrying you, while at the end of the game, you're carrying them to victory. As a carry hero, you should always watch your back and focus more on farming than actually killing people early game. That doesn't mean that you can't help out your team when they need you though. Your team is counting on you to pick up your slack later in the game, so you shouldn't let them down. The Initiator is one of the most important heroes on your team. It's not uncommon for two teams to be dangerously close to one another, waiting for someone to make the first move. An Initiator hero's job is to make the first move as best he can. Have you ever felt as though a battle had already been lost before it even started because somebody blinked in and completely trampled your team? Well, that was somebody doing their job with an initiation hero. While area of effect spells are great initiators, abilities that can isolate single heroes can be used as initiators too, as it forces the enemy team to come help their pinned down teammate, giving your team an advantage. Disabling heroes are pretty straightforward. Your job is to keep fights unfair. A good disabler is capable of making a 5v5 fight 5v2. By disabling key enemy heroes such as initiators, you ensure that the enemy team won't get the jump on you. Disabling carry heroes later in the game can render their carry useless the entire fight. Or you could even disable their disabler hero first, ensuring that your team won't get disabled. A support hero is a hero that helps his team out rather than himself. This is usually done in the form of healing spells or just having a lot of pushing capability. In this video, I'm going to kind of group support and pushing heroes together. As a support hero, you don't really need kills. Your job is to turn the tide of battles by assisting your teammates or annoying your enemies. If you're good at pushing, you should make the most of your early game before the carry heroes get buff. A team with one or two good pushing heroes can usually take barracks in one lane before late game even happens. The Nuker is a hero class that specializes in picking off enemies quickly by throwing lots of damaging spells at them. His job is simply to make the enemy's team's life as miserable as possible all game long. By picking off fragile disabler heroes early on, you can reduce the threat of your team getting disabled. Early game, the nuker is a monster that you should definitely stay away from, especially if you're a carry. Well, this about wraps up the 5 most major hero roles in Han. Now, there are a few more that I feel are worth mentioning quickly, but these are more like sub-roles. A sub-role is a role that you can have while being a carry, initiator, disabler, supporter, or nuker. These include tank, ganker, and babysitter. A tank is a hero that can soak up a lot of damage. Usually tanks are good initiators because they run a lower risk of getting steamrolled if they mess up. It's certainly possible to be a tank carry or initiator. While disabler and nukers aren't really ever tanks, they can be built like tanks with the right items. A ganker is exactly what it sounds like, a hero that excels in getting kills. Usually carry heroes and nukers are great gankers. Now a babysitter hero is a hero that is good at laning with a carry. Usually babysitters are support heroes that can keep healing the carry in the lane, ensuring that they won't ever have to go back to base, effectively accelerating their late game potential. Well, that's all I got. I hope this gave you some insight to how hero rules work. So why is this important? Well, next time you're choosing a hero, think about what your team might be missing rather than just thinking about what you feel like playing. 
Well, this has been Nick talking, and as usual, feel free to message me in-game, and good luck out there.